Hey guys, my name is Renee and I'm going to take you through Vera Bhadrasana A or Warrior 1. You will find this mostly in your Sun B's or in your standing series of your Vinyasa practice. So let's get a feel for this pose. You're going to start with a wide stance. I'm starting with my right foot forward. Bring awareness to your back foot first. So. Your back foot is going to turn at 45 degrees. Have your back left toe pointing to the top left corner of your mat or of the room that you're in. There's a gentle pressing on the outer edge of that foot. Now turn your awareness forward. Notice with your legs apart if you feel a little wobbly and if you need some more stability. Heel toe that front foot out a little bit wider so your legs are like railway tracks instead of walking a tightrope. Right toes, front toes pointing forward. Before you go anywhere, bring your awareness to your hips and square them off. So bring that left hip forward, right hip back. Pull belly button in, activation in core, and then sink into your front leg. You want your front knee over the top of your front ankle so that you're looking after that ankle joint. If you need, you can wriggle that foot forward. So if you're here with that knee oh, super far over ankle, wriggle it forward. So when you come in, you've got that nice angle. Eventually you are aiming for your front thigh to be parallel to the mat. But if you're still up a little higher, that's okay as you work it on. So Bring awareness again to the back leg, gentle press into the outer edge. Bring that left hip forward, right hip back, pull belly button in and up. Sink into your front knee. Now bring your arms up by your ears. Shoulders away. Gaze your drishti traveling forward. Palms of hands facing each other, squeezing an imaginary block. Take a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, can you sink a little further into your warrior one? On your next inhale, press into your front foot, gently release. Warrior one, Vira Vajrasana A, try it on the other side.